We've just arrived at Krakatoa. Gasket that I did use. Oh. That was so loud. It's like a bomb, Daddy. Incredible. What we got up to last time on Sailing Catalpa. We joined the search for a man overboard, arrived in Jakarta. You guys met Jay and he bought some gifts for the crew. All right, so row, row, row your uh, barge. That's how you manoeuvre your little excavator around on the barge in the marina. So we just looked over. One thing was we like, oh, yuck, they're in the water because the water's yuck. And then I realised that they're actually manually pulling this boat out of the water. Manpower. So we're going to into town to provision up today, but we're just walking into the building that's at the marina and come and check out this building. Hello, buggy. What are you kids doing? Sitting in your little boat chair there. Just getting my last little bit in there. Oh. It's okay. You'll all survive. You'll all survive without Wi Fi. I cannot wait to be <laughs> How's this for fancy marina facilities? Upstairs is a restaurant and bar, and the owner wanted to show us around. He even had a museum. He's behind the door. Okay. Thirty-six people. Yes. Submarine. Yeah. Uh, below the water, fifty meter. Fifty meters. For one and a half hour around Nusa Penida. Okay. Yeah. Around. Uh, Yourself, like, yeah. quite a seamstress, aren't you? I'm going down. If I own okay. It. We're here. Where are we going? The market. Just the market. Alright, we're going provision shopping. and I just jumped in a taxi. The boys and Bella are gonna take shopping back to the boat, move the boat around and fuel up and uh, get some fuel. And we're gonna go to the Passado, fruit and veggie market. Stock up on our fruit and veggies, hopefully. Didn't make it to the local traditional market, but we got to this one and it was really good. There's heaps of fruit and veggies. Tempeh, got all we needed, got even some more stuff better than the shop we went to. So, even got some free fresh juice because I think we spent enough money in there. <laughs> but yeah, now we just gotta get back to the marina. Hopefully that goes smooth. And we gave him the directions. We gave him the phone with the map that showed him where to go. And he's driven us about 20 minutes the wrong way. After I told him, we're going the wrong way. Sorry, sorry. We have a phone with directions. Yeah. Yeah. The only way we were going to get back is for me to direct him. 
I'm pretty sure it was his first day driving in Jakarta. Lucky us. We got back and prepped Catalpa to head off the next morning for our new adventures. So it's the first morning and we've just set sail from Jakarta, which is all of this behind us. It doesn't look very um, very big from here, but the city here in Jakarta is absolutely massive. Look at this, excitement overload. We're heading to Krakatoa. We're gonna check out the volcano. It's supposed to be really exciting. Can't wait to check it out. First day with Jay. <laughs> Very impressive. I know. She's a poet, she doesn't even know. <laughs> It didn't take long and Jay fell right at home here on Catalpa. I know what I'm doing here, yeah, don't need a map. I got the juice to throw your train off the track. It's a nice little sail. We had about oh, 15 to 18 knots on the beam, made for a nice little passage. Got here on time, wanted to be here in the dark to see it erupting, but we haven't seen it yet. But, uh, the sun will be up soon and it'll be brekkie time and I think I might go and uh, have a little bit of shut eye first. That's it. That's all I got. That's all you got. And these two lovely jubblies did the whole night watch and I got to sleep. So it was real nice. A little swapsy. You want to talk into the camera? No, oh, man. No. We've just arrived at Krakatoa and uh, it's a big volcano and it's going off. Well, not really. It's puffing. I'll try and video it. Puffing. Wait, puff the magic dragon. <laughs> well, he reckons he heard it, but it was just his bum. Not really. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Happy to be back in clear waters and anchored up not too far from the volcano, Anak Krakatoa, and she was putting on a show for us. And so was this guy. Hey, it's amazing. The subtle games that you are playing. Anak Krakatau is located in the Sundra Strait, between the islands of Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. This active volcano's most notable eruption was in 1883, which was among the most violent volcanic events in recorded history. It just sounds like we're at war. It sounds like cannons going off. Whoa. That was so loud. It's like a bomb, Daddy. Here we are demonstrating how to take an epic family selfie. Step one, use a selfie stick that is huge. Step two, get everyone to stay still and look at the camera while moving the camera to every angle possible. Step three, Smile while everyone else directs you where they think the camera should be. And step four, check that all five people are smiling and a volcano is erupting conveniently in the background. That's it folks, that's how it's done. After literally being mesmerized watching the volcano for hours, we thought we would go and have an explore on the island nearby. We came 
came over because we saw a big turtle heading up the beach and we thought we'd be able to check him out. We just saw the volcano go nuts. I think you should army roll over to it. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Just watch the bushes, it got barbs all over. Turtle, he's just there. So we'll probably wait for him to or her to lay her eggs. Hopefully get her coming down the beach. Here we have a mummy turtle laying her eggs. Into the hole she dug herself to keep the eggs safe. It's incredible, nature. How she knows exactly when to come on the beach and lay her eggs. Do all that work and leave, not knowing if any of her babies will survive. She got a nice little cosy spot. She's a big girl, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It's so gross, though, that she's like there in rubbish, don't it? It's so sad. To think that the first thing these baby turtles may see when they enter into the world is plastic makes us all very sad. Whilst waiting for the mama turtle and watching Krakatau go nuts, we had a visit from some rangers. Uh, I leave today, one day. One day? Oh. They came ashore to try and get some money from us for visiting the island and anchoring here. We decided to move on as we thought 500,000 rupiah was a bit steep. Back to Catalpa. So I didn't get to see it up close, but here comes that turtle that was laying his eggs or her eggs. She's all done, dusted. Back in the ocean. Before we leave, Lee had a quick engine job to do. A little bit of fuel leak, diesel leak, not a big one, it's just a seal. A couple episodes back, you would have seen how we. Uh, Fixed it up with the bike tube. Um, Everyone was real happy about it. Good decision, honey. Yeah, I don't know. Some weren't too happy about it, thinking it wasn't going to last, but it's lasted us till now, until Jay has brought us over two to choose from, two gaskets. Oh, no, I'm just joking. You can't have that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to run with the cork one. I don't know. There's a, there's a uh, nitrite or whatever it is one there. Um, so I'm going to change that out now. It hasn't been that bad. It's maybe a couple of drips a minute or so. But nevertheless, we don't want any diesel in the bilge. Just removing the cover plate on our diesel injector pump. And then we're just going to replace the gasket here and put it back together. And probably the biggest part of this job is just bleeding the air back out of the system. The gasket that I did use, it's actually Gotta make sure it's all intact, so. Okay. So it did swell, hey? Yeah, it's not too bad though. It, it, it got us out of trouble. Just hoping there's no bits in the pump, but I'll have another little squizzy here. A little inspection. Get your mirror there, though. Alright. No bits of rubber there. But looks to Kali. Looks good. Now to choose the, uh, oh, what gasket we're gonna use. Got this little baby here. Oh, you know what, Jay boy? It's like a glove. I would say by those little grooves that that's the little bad boy that fits. So looking at that, I can either oh. use this one or I can exactly. run with that one. That one's actually a bit bigger and nah, that one's not going to do us. That's going to be the one. Look it's at that, it's got the little grooves. A a rug. Oh, you couldn't have done that better. Well done. Good job. You get us out of trouble. No mucking around here. Oh. Where we go. Do you want some more towel? Well, the engine seems to be putting off a little bit of heat, which is causing a little bit of perspiration, <laughs> which is causing a little bit of humour in the boat for everyone laughing at me, so... A little Be forehead precipitation. We love Just your sweaty hair. So there seems to be a lot of uh, precipitation <laughs> on extra large red forehead. forehead. <laughs> <laughs> on the yacht currently. <laughs> We love your sweaty head. Hey, this is the... You look big... cute with a sweaty head, mate. It's <laughs> so beautiful. This is the part where you don't want to drop a screw down in here because it could literally cost you half a day trying to find it. Or bolt, I should say. 
There's a little bit of pressure so a on there. Uh, a lot of care taken there. So cruising Asia, it's these little things where I wasn't able to find actually any gasket, which it's a rubber nitrate gasket. And uh, it was just nowhere to be found over here. So we were lucky that we had Jade Boy coming over here and uh, he was able to bring that from Oz for us. Otherwise it looks like I was due for another bike tire. And hopefully, Done. That was quick. That was five minutes, babe. No, it's not because I've got to actually bleed it. Oh, I was going to say for the first time you've actually said it's a five minute job, but it was. So much pressure. That, I, I didn't know what button I was pressing, so I. I love the noises you make when you're in the engine bay. Oh. <laughs> 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 So first stop on our little Indonesian sojourn was um, Krakatau in between Java and Sumatra. This is it right here behind me. It is absolutely blowing its stack right now and it's been doing it all morning. Um, it is pretty spectacular ladies and gentlemen. Pretty bloody spectacular. It's not letting me no. say calibration required because we're rocking. Well I'll hold it. So he's never flown a drone before. We're hoping we might be able to get it up in the air. What do you think? You think we'll be able to get a flying or? We can only try. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I think we might have some kind of lift off here, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. We have lift off. We've got a uh, helicopter pilot here, Captain Lee Wright. So we've got. Bella here, just conditioning her hair. How's it going there, Belle? Is that the uh, the best view of a bathroom you've ever been in before? Yeah. Maybe. She's not really quite sure because right now she's got Krakatau erupting in the background, but she's pretty spoiled and seen some uh, pretty good views from a little shower on the back of the yacht, haven't you, Belle? Belle hasn't had a coffee yet, so she's forgotten how to talk, but maybe later she might remember. I think it's a really good view. I mean, we've had some pretty good views, but we haven't actually had a volcano like blowing its top right there. Are you a good view, Lee? It's a great view. Oh, it's those big arms, mate. Oh, 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 you know what they say. Curls get the girls. Have a vent on the, the other side. See how it's blowing out in a different direction? Oh, like a little foo-foo. A foo-foo hole. A foo-foo valve. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's a little foo-foo, hasn't he? Right but... The volcano here has absolutely exceeded expectations. I thought, you know, it might little a couple of those ones, but this thing has been firing all day. Absolutely spectacular. This is about as slow as it gets, what's going on right here. Every now and then the thing just explodes. You might be wondering why I haven't shown any drone footage, when clearly we flew our drone. Well, the pilot may have pressed record when we landed instead of filming the most epic footage we probably would have ever seen. But hey, you win some and you lose some. Drone's back on board safe and I think we're going to head off. Yeah. Is that the story, Captain? That's is that, it. Is that what's it's happening? always good when you get your drone back. It's a I'll, good I've day. I've lost one yet. Touch it's a wood. good day. We're, if your drone goes close. out at we've sea, come close a few times. Be real sad, eh? A little too yeah. close. It's this, real this sad. This guy knows all about it's it. It's pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. It's very. But sad. it's good. At least you got the cool footage from it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the footage, fo fo footage is on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, just just giving. Oh, but not from this trip. It was a little while ago, learned from my mistakes. Now I just use other people's drones. Yeah, so Jay actually has his own YouTube channel, so you guys should all jump over there and subscribe to this fella. Yeah, jump on board and watch it with my mum. 
Ford subscriber. <laughs> oh, he does some good things. Oh, he was actually our first subscriber. He was our first patron. It's the first, eh? You're the first. Yes. You will always be the first. Yeah. So go and support him. Give him some love. Give him all the love. love. What's your YouTube? Give yourself a plug. Jay Lancaster. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Lancaster. Pretty exciting stuff. Get on it. What are they going to see if they head over there? Just your face? Pretty just, pretty much just my <laughs> silly looking head, just being real silly and making no movies. <laughs> it was kind of fun though. So we're pulling anchor. Just make sure Taj is flaking. Taj, you flaking, mate? Yeah. Taj is flaking, and we're just going to pull the anchor up. Here she comes. Live. All right. So we've left. We left our anchorage this morning. Oh no, no, we didn't. We just left just now. Coming past, this is a really good angle of Krakatoa. She's blowing a top as we speak. And it's just unbelievable. We were here in late October 2018, and just eight weeks after our visit, this volcano, Krakatoa, erupted big time and caused a tsunami that had a tragic effect nearby, killing hundreds of people. And our hearts go out to all those that lost their loved ones. For us watching at the time, we were astonished by the explosions. I can't imagine how powerful the eruption would have been in December, and I guess it was giving off some signals with all its huffing and puffing here. Mind is absolutely blown. This Krakatoa thing behind me, absolutely incredible. Just about to blow. Oh, oh. Look at that. oh. Whoa, there's so many rocks. 2011, the highest point was about 324 metres above sea level, growing five metres each year. In 2017, the height of Krakatoa was reported over 400 metres. But following the collapse in December, the height currently is 110 metres, which is two thirds lower than what you can see incredible. in this video. Incredible. Really is incredible. It's been doing this all morning. Just can't even believe it. Non stop, all day, every day. Well, I don't really know. I don't know if this is special or if this is a standard day here, but mind is absolutely blown. This is incredible. Our lunch. Oh, I think J Boy meant the volcano. When it's cloudy, I don't see you. When it's dark, I lose your spark. And I don't want to have another moment when you're not around. I know you're my ray of light. Somehow I have lost your sight. I have got mysterious ways to bring you back into my life. And I, I, I. It looks like a big, big serpent thing. Oh, it looks like a oh, oh, look at it now. On our way to the Mentau Eyes. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Oh, thanks to y'all. Up next on Sailing Catalpa, we get to our first surf break and have some wild nights off the Sumatra coast. Off the Sumatra coast, it's uh, squalling, seas aren't too bad, we've got the wind behind us but we've just ripped our mane in half so we're down to our last... Do you remember, remember guys, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more.